Hello everyone. So I have come up with a new class. Uh, as we have, we are done with morphology, and I am not getting any kind of queries or doubts from the students. So I hope we are done with morphology. You have understood that. Still, if you have any queries or confusions, you can contact me. In the the my contact details are always given in the description. So please find my contact details and contact me if there is any. Query or problem. So today we will be starting syntax. Syntax. So it is the third primary branch of linguistics, which deals with sentences. For the definition, you can write it as. syntax is that branch of linguistics which deals with sentence patterning and sentence functioning in a language syntax is that branch of linguistics which deals with sentence patterning and sentence functioning in a language so basically what syntax is the normally called grammar the normally called grammar in a grammar book if you see you will get to know about verb parts of speech noun prepositions and all how a sentence is formed different types of sentences different types of negations so these all things are covered in linguistics sorry covered in syntax so the first thing that comes in syntax is word order now what a word order is word order is that patterning in a sentence word order is that patterning in a sentence which we used to express ourselves or which is used by a language to express some meaning or to form a sentence and this word order varies from language to language so for example if we take english the basic word order of english is s v o but if we take assamese the basic word order of assamese is s o v so this is the basic word order basic word order consists of a subject object and a verb the placement of this three are like it depends on the language and in a word order like this the other sentence patterns are based or the basic word order determines the other patterning in that language for example when it is a svo language there is always prepositions prepositions and in a sov language like assamese there is always post positions and preposition and post position are types of at positions clear so how to determine or what is preposition or what is a post position preposition you have heard right preposition are those words in a language which directs to something like to in right so what happens how we determine preposition and postposition is position is actually the noun 
pre means before the noun post means after the noun like if we say in the house the house is the noun and this at position is sitting before the noun that is why it is called as preposition but what will happen if we say the same thing in asamis ghar the house ghar ot right in the house ghorot ram is in the house ram ghorot ase ot we are using this ot here this ot is also a at position which is called as post position why because it is sitting after the noun and this is called as preposition because it is sitting before the noun so this is word order in a very simple language you can say word order is that management of word in which the language operates the management of words in which the a language operates is called the word order of that language clear up in your exam questions normally come from word order it won't be of so many marks but at least for 3 5 marks a question comes where either you will be asked to explain the word order of english or you will be asked to write a sentence based on a given word order if you see the previous year question papers you will get to know how the question comes so try to comprehend these things properly If you have any doubts, please ask me. Clear? So the next thing to learn is agreement, and this thing is very much important for your paper because a question, if I am not wrong, ten to twelve mark question can come from this part agreement. So what is agreement? Agreement is that phenomenon. because of which a verb and a noun gets related agreement is that phenomenon because of which a verb and a noun gets related clear now how a question is arising in your mind like what kind of agreement is because agreement we have heard about agreement only while doing some business right in business we do a agreement so let's generalize the meaning of agreement first what does agreement mean agreement mane ki amuk to hole amuk to hobo that is agreement right ए तो करेट इज एग्रीमेंट हेटे एग्रीमेंट बी क्या है क्या बस्तु एग्री कर अमुक तो जो अमुक तो तार हम जो अमुक तो ना हुआ तमुक तो नैट इज एग्रीमेंट क्लियर सो इन इंग्लिश इफ यू सी इन दंबर टेबल इट इज आई इट we eat you eat you eat he she eat eats they eat so what is happening here see for the rest of the five it is everywhere eat right but for the third person singular this is third second first person 
n this is singular this is plural right so for third person singular a s is sitting here but this s is not the plural marker like boy boys it is not that what is it it is the agreement marker this agreement shows us that when the verb is taking a s the noun sitting before it will definitely be a third person singular a s to am bujai je tar akhale thoka jonto noun he noun to singular hoboi lagibo but english or agreement kom iman beshi nai sob jagate agreement puwa na jay english or aru he karane english or ki hoy okoman confusion hoy je thik ase jodi a to e amak agreement to dekhaise tete e kita ta amak ki he dekhabo aru he karane इंग्लिश वर्ड अर्डर तो इन बेसि फ्लेक्सीबल नूब कम फ्लेक्सीबल बेसि रिजिड और रिजिड और फ्लेक्सीबल माने कि फ्लेक्सीबल वर्ड अर्डर सीटो क्या है जो सबजेक्ट भार्ब अबजेक्ट इफाल सीफाल कर मिनिंग चेन्ज न ठीक है जेने के लेट्स टेक अटेन्स राम टाइगर जो लाम किल द टाइगर इट इज एस क्लियर इट इज इन दस भिओ देट इज देशिक वर्ड अर्डर अफ इंगलिश इट इज इन देशिक वर्ड अर्डर अफ इंगलिश but if we if we try to like it is in svo can we make it vso can we make it osv just think vso ko ile ki ho kill ram the tiger meaning ulua nahi the sentence is wrong osv the tiger ram killed meaning nahi ulua the sentence is wrong that means this is not possible in english that is why the word order of english is called rigid market r i g i d rigid only one word order is applicable or allowed clear and that happens because of lesser number of agreements कारण एग्रीमेंट कम आसने चेन्ज लेट्स गिव मी अ एग्जांपल ऑफ एसएमईज फॉर द सेम सेंटेंस रामे बाघ तो मारे क्लियर हियर राम इज द नाउन एंड रामे इज द सब्जेक्ट Here, bark is the noun, and bark two is the object. Here, mar is the verb, and this whole thing is the verb phrase, which is the S O V combination verb, right? So, like we can take this one whole. Sorry. we can take up to maril as the pure verb as the main verb and marile all together is the verb in the word order so what we can do if we try to make it vso v s o then marile rame bakhtu correct sentence marile rame bakhtu that is a correct sentence the meaning is same If we try to make it OSV, then what will happen? Back to Rame Marile, right? If we try to make it another something, like the word order is SOV, right? In SMS, 
in assamese it is sov if we try to make it svo rame marile bakto right correct sentence so this is what flexibility is in english when we were trying to transform the word order change the word order it was not possible we were getting a wrong sentence but when in assamese we tried to do the same we tried to shuffle the word order it was possible so the languages where shuffling of word order or changing of word order is allowed those languages are called flexible word orders languages and those languages where that shuffling or rearrangement of word order is not allowed those languages are called rigid word order languages so now again coming to agreement this rigidity and flexibility has a very close link with agreement agreement plays a very vital role in rigidity and flexibility like this is a case marker there is another thing agreement which you can see with the verb which is which accompanies a verb ba jundo hodai verb logote bohe and the other thing is case marker case marker jundo hodai noun logot thake these two things are responsible for flexibility and rigidity of the word order like this a ram is the noun this a is the case marker this bag this two is the case marker and here this a is the agreement marker this two are nouns right so it is a case marker the thing which is sitting jonto tar logot logot lag khai ase hetu hoise case marker aru etu je hetu verb etu hoise eta agreement marker আৰু এই কেছ আৰু এগ্ৰিমেণ্ট কিটা থকা কাৰণে আমি ফ্লেক্সিবল কৰিব পাৰিছো ট্ৰাই ওৱান্স ডুইং দিছ মেকিং ইট লুক লাইক দা ইংলিছ ওৱান ইংলিছত যেনেকে হৈছে যে কোনো কেছ মাৰ্কাৰ নাই কোনো এগ্ৰিমেণ্ট মাৰ্কাৰ নাই তেনেকে যদি আমি কৰিব যাওঁ ৰাম বাঘ মাৰিল কিবা মিনিং ওলাইছে নাই সো ए केस मार्कर और एग्रीमेंट मार्कर ए दुटा बस्तुर लैंग्वेज एटर फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी और रिजिडिटी डिटरमाइन कर बहुत हेल्प कर बहुत भाइटेल रोल एट प्ले कर सो दिश इज एग्रीमेंट नाउ वेन उव डिस्कसड एबाउट केस मार्कर लेट मी एक्सप्लेन डेट अल्सो अ केस मार्कर is a element case marker eta bound morpheme case marker eta bound morpheme hoy jonto hodai noun or pisphale bohe aru noun or pisphale bohi he noun to agent hoy patient hoy sufferer hoy animate hoy inanimate hoy human hoy non human hoy हे बस्तु तो देखा ट्राई सर्चिंग फर दिस केस मार्कर थिंग एक्चुअली आई डोंट हैव अ मटेरियल टू डेथ सो यू कैन फाइंड इट एनीवेयर और एल्स आई शेल बी ट्राइंग टू फैच आउट सम नोट्स इफ आई कैन बट अदरवाइज आल्सो इफ यू गूगल इट देन यू कैन सी व्हाट अ केस मार्कर इज और हाउ डज दे परफॉर्म एंड हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ केस मार्कर आर देर सो normally case markers are of two different kinds that is one is overt and one is overt our language definitely needs to have a case marker eta language of case marker thakibo lagibo etia english ot jeneke ramor logot ba tiger logot eku boha nai that doesn't mean the english ot case marker nai ha agreement to ase english ot case marker o ase kintu agreement আসামিজত কমকে আছে আর কেস মার্কার আছে কিন্তু কেনকে আছে 
कोवर्ट के आसे कोवर्ट माने होइसे हिडन आरो ओवर्ट माने होइसे नॉट हिडन बा विजिबल ठीक आसे कोवर्ट माने होइसे हिडन ओवर्ट माने होइसे विजिबल आसाम इज अ केस मार्कर खनी ओवर्ट होय आरो इंग्लिश और केस मार्कर खनी कोवर्ट होय आरो हे कोवर्ट केस मार्किंग ठोका कारणे हि रिजि फ्लेक्सिबल करিব नुवारे लैंग्वेज तो किन्तु आसाम इज अ ओवर्ट केस मार्किंग ठोका कारणे हि लैंग्वेज तो फ्लेक्सिबल करিব पारे ठीक आसे सो अनदर एग्जांपल ऑफ एग्रीमेंट यो म कय आसु जे इंग्लिश अत कम के आसे आरो एग्रीमेंट थाकिले अमर लैंग्वेज एटा यूज करबेले केनेके सहज होय लेट्स अगेन टेक द सिंगुलर प्लुरल टेबल दिस इज फर्स्ट पर्सन दिस इज सेकंड पर्सन दिस इज थर्ड पर्सन सो फर्स्ट पर्सन सिंगुलर फॉर प्रेजेंट टेंस रिमेंबर फॉर प्रेजेंट टेंस की होबो आई ईट we eat you eat you eat he she it eats aru they eat ekata jodi ami assamese or example lobole jao आई माने मय मय खाओ आमी खाओ तुमी खोआ सिमिलरली तुमा लुके खोआ and for this he hi he hote hi so see english of ki hoise eat 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 fine किन्तु यात की होइसे सुवा फर्स्ट पर्सन हुआ लगे लगे खा लगत उ एटा आहिसे सेकंड पर्सन हुआ लगे लगे ए खा टु बिषत उ आ एटा लागिसे ए उ आ टु लगा कारणे एतो की होइसे त्रिथंग न होय ए एटा ए डिलीट होय गइसे उ आ एटा लागिसे देन इन थर्ड पर्सन ई एटा लागिसे खाय राइट सो एतिया की होय केले लैंग्वेज टु यूज करबेले सहज हो एग्रीमेंट थाकिले एतिया मय जदि एकिटा मुसी दिउ आई वी यू यू मो मुसी दिलो सपोज ठीक आसे मय जदि कहो इट यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू डिटरमाइन व्हेदर आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट माइसेल्फ और आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेकंड पर्सन किंतु एकटा काम जदि आमी अखमियात करू खाउ खाय यस खोआ सो खाओ बोले कोइ दिया लगे लगे इट इज डिटरमाइंड जे मय फर्स्ट पर्सन ओते कइसु हेतु ताको मय मय खाओ बोले कबो ना लागे हे कारणे जेतिया आमा नॉर्मल एटा प्रश्न दुपोरिया हम जदि काबाक लक पाला भात खाला ओ भात खालु मान जने केतिया न होदे तुमी भात खाला आरो तुमीयो केतिया उत्तर दन दिया मय भात खालु हे खाला बुली हुदा लगे लगे तुमी गम पाइसा जे तुमाके हुदिसे कारण सेकंड पर्सन तुमी होय हे आ तो होइसे सेकंड पर्सनर लगत एग्रीमेंट हे भार्ब टू एग्री करिसे जे सेकंड पर्सन जेतिया होबो मय मोर पिसफाले आ एटा लम आरो हेतुए जदि फर्स्ट पर्सनत होय मय मोर पिसफाले उ एटा लम हेतु कारणे फर्स्ट पर्सनत की होय मय खालु आरो सेकंड पर्सनत की होय तुमी खाला आरो थर्ड पर्सनत की होबो हि खाले ए आता है जे, so this makes the use of language easier. 
and also you can call it as economical. I mean, good sentence to pull up a no call over. I mean, sentence to pull up a no call over. So, this is all about agreement. I think it is clear to you. I have tried to simplify it as much as possible but then also if there is any confusion please ask me I will try to explain it more simplify in a more simplified way so this was all in today's class we will do next in our next class we will proceed to some other contents of syntax syntax is not finished yet it, is, it will take another three four classes so this was all about syntax for today we have learned the definition the explanation what is word order what is agreement what is case marker so re like watch the video learn these things if you find any kind of doubts or problems please ask me i will try to solve it so this is all for today thank you